Hallelujah, everybody. We praise Yahuwah for this opportunity to come to your home. Welcome to Eagles Haven Ministry, Witness of the Covenant, as well as Eliyahu Channel. Welcome you for tuning in this Yom. Uh, we're right on time, maybe a couple minutes, one minute late, but we're this time on time. Praise All right. God. Hallelujah. Praise Yahuwah. All the equipment, everything's running tobe. And we just give praise, Yahuwah, for the opportunity to come into your home and share this, uh, the teachings, the root of the Torah, the teachings, and what we're going to be sharing today. I just praise Yahuwah for this opportunity. Of course, you know the day we're going to be sharing some scriptures. Uh, more, we're going to go through all the scriptures, but before that, we're going to show a little bit about about NASA in the Sanskrits, which is the word for moon, uh, Nasha. And uh, as you see in front of you, you see a Hebrew, ancient Hebrew conception of the universe. Uh, I don't agree 100%, but that's a good model, semi-model. We have other models to look at. But before we go there, I just wanted to have Brother greet you and say hello to you. Shalom, shalom. Shalom Aleichem to all those who don't know me. <laughs> but uh, I think everybody mostly but, that yeah, listens yeah. to this knows me yeah. right now. But anyways, um, um, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. It's wonderful to have everybody here today uh, that's coming in live from different locations. People are, are watching us. We love you. We blew the shofar in the beginning because we're crying out. We're crying out. For righteousness. Shema Israel to repent of her sins. Horrible things are happening back to back right now, people. Horrible things are going on. People are still stuck in Babylon. They're bound up in Babylon one way, one way or another. Even the rabbinical are bound up in Babylon right. as well. Um, we know that in the, we know that the satanic ritual of Guthard train, train tunnel on 531 uh, took place. And that demonic, satanic, in your face, wide, wide eyes wide open ritual in the in in Gut Hard, which means the the land, the uh, the a part of Gut or God or God or Gut is the German way of saying the word G O D, the prosperity, dear dear fortune. And then right after that came along the Hillary Clinton. Uh, campaign was in Los Angeles on 6 16 16 and, right. the, and the witches and warlocks on national TV you can google it bragged on it that they put five pointed uh, witchcraft five points of sacrifices right. they didn't tell where and what they were sacrificing right. you know what I mean because Los Angeles Hollywood's full of bloodshed you know what I mean yeah they, they didn't say what it was but they were backing Hillary for her president campaign and we know that she is a her famous book you can see videos on it her stating that she was a part of the Lewinsky group of rules for radicals and we know that in the first opening of rules for radicals he Linsky dedicated his book to Lucifer as the light bearer of understanding of his right. radical rules for radicals. You right. know what I mean? That, you're talking about Saul Alinsky, right? Saul no. Alinsky. Right. Right. Okay. So we have, thank you for adding his first name there. We, uh, you can look it up online. There's nothing hiding. The, this is light and darkness fighting. Right. We, we wrestle not against flesh and right. blood, brother. I mean, it's just like the word says, but against principalities, powers in high places. You know, uh, um, it's not just a... a physical thing what's happening is very spiritual so and the only ones that can have any kind of effect on these devil demons or however you want to put them is people who are calling on the name right right because look at that happened we had the the the, the call, i want to say the word may but on the fifth month of 31st day the ritual then on 6 16 there was a lot of other things going on in the middle too. Right. i'm just only highlighting okay and then we have a parade that took place on the Washington Mall in front of the sundial they call the Washington Monument, which we're going to show pictures of it. And then we want to cry out Shema Israel because on the 21st or 22nd, uh, just a few days ago, they had the Jerusalem Gay Parade Sodomite Day Parade walking through the walls of Jerusalem. 
Okay, it was canceled before. They resurrected it. This is an abomination of desolation. And it's, there's a lot of partiality about it. But Israel needs to wake up. Everybody needs to wake up because they're not calling on the true name. They're not calling on right. Yahuwah. And the first scripture we want to share with, and we just pray. We're going to pray. So we're going to pray, and we're going to stop and pray. But I want to read a verse as an opening as we begin to pray and ask the Father to literally braka and let his bed court come upon us, and we rebuke, bind, crush, and destroy the prince of the air that come against our electronics of our equipment and our modem, our Wi-Fi system, our frequency, and even in the going out to you, there will be no burps and stutters and, and, and all these spinning little wheels of slowing down with commercials, but that you'll be able to watch this with, with, uh, with a good flow, this video teaching we're going to share today. This one's going to be a very impacting message as we open in a different topic, but then we go in right into the scriptures concerning uh, the, the, the way the earth really looks like according to the word. What's the earth look right. like according to Torah, Tanakh, and Brikanasha? You know what I mean? And before we do that, I want to just go ahead and go into a uh, read a verse from you based, excuse me, as I switch channels here. And we're going to go to Second Chronicles chapter 7, starting from verse 14. And we're going to read on and look at it in different translations. Are you right. with me, brother? Yes, yes. Let me, right. let me read that verse real quick. It says, And my people upon whom my name is called. Let me read that one more time <laughs> because it's very important. Okay? Very important. Everybody know, brother, everybody knows this verse and, and it's used it. over and over. But if you really read it and it says, and my people upon whom my name is called. Okay, let's stop right there. Because first of all, if you're a Christian and you're a Cristiano, that's not Yahuwah's name. Right. So you can say these, you can repeat this stuff all day long. So you're blue in the so face. you're blue in the face for the rest of Another your life. Spirit shows but if up, you consider yourself to be a Cristiano, I'm sorry, brother. Go on. If you consider yourself to be a Cristiano, then you're not, you're not calling upon the name. And his name is not upon you because you're saying I'm a Christian or I'm a Cristiano. What about okay? the rabbinical? Okay, uh, the same thing. You know, when we start the prayer, when we start the prayer, we say, Barukata uh, uh, Adonai. Oh, Adonai? Really? Adonai? I don't know. Uh, no, it's not Adonai. It's Barukata Yahuwah. Right. Elohim Melecha Olam. Right. All right. It is Baruch or you, Yahuwah, That's King right. of the universe. The sovereign. Say we're the sovereign. So, oh, yes, mighty I'm sorry. Elohim. Right. The mighty one of the universe. It's not, it's not. Uh, um, it, I'm going to just use these words real quick. It's not, blessed are you, Adonai, the king of the universe. In you're call <laughs> yeah, you're calling on a words. different deity. And I just wanted to say something really quick before we keep reading this. Right. Is earlier you said gut and, and, and Ru God, and good. God, yeah. Okay. Th those, I, I was looking it up, brother, and th I thought that that was only a title. But that's actually a deity. It's a real name it's of a, a real deity. Right. It, the Druids used that name. <laughs> From even before the Germans did, a long mm -hmm. time before, this is a high Germanic language, and it was used in the ancient days, and it was actually the deity that they were calling calling on. It's not just a title. So G-O-D is not just a title. I just want them to know right, that. Right. Okay. This is what every Nazi had on their belt buckle when they threw our people in the fiery furnace. Right. So Gut now... Mit uns. Right. Okay. So that's now, the deity G-O-D. Right. You're right. Yes. It's the yes. same guy. Wow. And you want to call wow. on them, Yehudi? Come on, give me a break. You can't call on that German one that threw our people in the fiery furnace. That's a blasphemy. That's a. It's like our, our people are rolling in their sleep, waiting to wake up to slap you, Yehudi, for using that G-O-D word. <laughs> right? Yes, it is. Keep going, brother. Okay, it says, And my people who upon whom my name is called. Okay, what's your, what's your, what's your name, brother? My name is Eliyahu. Eliyahu. Yahu, Eliyahu, Ana, Ya, Anayahu, uh, Eliyahu, 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 upon Eliyahu. the name, yeah, upon whom my name is called, Abiya, your wife, mm -hmm. my wife, Kimaya, mm -hmm. you know, we have the name of Yah. So let's read this again. 
and my people upon whom my name is called. Okay? Now, my now my name from birth is Alfredo. Okay? But I it's a Latin pagan name. And I refuse to be called that name by believers. I want you to call me Anayahu or Anaya. This is my name that name Yahuwah of a gave man. me. He's the name of a man in the scriptures. Right. Right. So... So it says, and my people upon whom my name is called. If those ones upon whom my name is called humble. shall humble themselves. It didn't say if my people who, who, who are called the Christians. It doesn't say or that. Or called Baptists. Or called the Baptists. Or, called or the people who call Adonai. It doesn't say that. Yeah. It says, uh, and my people upon whom my name is called shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways. Then and, and this is what we strive for, to learn the prayers, to seek Yahuwah, to turn from our wicked ways, to repent to Teshuvah and go back to the Torah. Then uh, got back to the Torah. Okay, so you, there are certain things. The, the, there are certain things he's saying that has to happen before he will hear you. Okay, before right. he will hear you. You it's need to be calling on his name. Right. It's conditional. Yeah. You need to call on his name, first of all. And eventually, when you begin to call on his name, you will your name will change to the to his character. Because you will have the characteristics of your father, who is Yahuwah. Not your father on earth, but your father in the Shamaim. Okay? So then so then and and pray and seek my face. So you gotta pray and seek, seek his face. You gotta call on his name and you gotta you got to uh, tefillah, you got to pray, and you got to seek his face, okay? Get his and, name right, people. Right, and you got to teshuvah, you got to, and, and turn from your evil ways. That means to teshuvah, to turn around and come back to the creator. Then, mm -hmm. then I shall hear from the shamayim and forgive their sin and heal their land. But, and now... Now that this has happened, my eyes are open. I see you. And my ears are attentive. I hear you. What? Yeah. You mean it had to be those conditions to right. be heard? So you mean Christians that read just a piece of that verse are misleading the people? Right. They're only reading a piece of that verse. They only right. read verse 14. They don't go on and keep reading. Huh. Right. And, you know, I, I think that, that, um, that um, you know, a lot, lot of stuff is, man, we've been taught... To you know, I I just can't put it in words. We've been taught in ways that were not right, and so it, there's a lot of misunderstanding. There, there's a lot of good people out there who really believe in the Creator, okay. But it doesn't matter how good you are or how good I am. It doesn't matter because all men have fallen short. Everybody. Okay, it, it, what matters is these things that he's talking about, about seeking him, calling on his name, uh, repenting. It, it, then he's going to hear you and it, then he's going to forgive your sin and heal the land. Now his eyes are open. He sees you and he hears you. And, and, and so I just wanted to, brother and I just wanted to make a point of this. And we know that we pound this and drive it every single Shabbat over and over and over and there's a reason for it right because without that i mean you know yeah there's a condition for everything right. in verse 16 it also says and now i have chosen and set this house apart for my sham my name to be there forever and my eyes and my heart shall always be there okay so and, of course, the enemy has planted another building on top of that location with another name, another principality, right? Because they know that's a portal, that's a gateway. And they have put this other blockage there uh, of the Islamic groups. Now, right. we emphasize this, people. Of, we're not hearing this in the political campaigns. We're not hearing this in the Christians in this world. And the reason we have chosen to give you this verse, that if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and mm. seek my face and turn from their evil ways, that is the condition. And he's going to hear from the Shamaim, from the waters above. 
Right. In the Shemayim. <laughs> He's not going to hear from some cloud with, with some little baby naked babies with harps. And, right. And, you know what I mean? And Zeus and all those guys around yeah. him. No. No. Yeah, a bunch, not... a bunch of guys dressed like, uh, you know, they always Greek. show, right, they always show like, like, um, like it, when you go and buy the bottle of, of um, for Shabbat, you know, of, of, of the wine, then it has a picture on it and it, and it kind of, it shows, um, it shows like this hand going out with pointing with this finger and you know these robes they're oh this greek, greek stuff that, yeah. that's that's not what it is oh that's the heaven the that's what that's what heavens is okay yeah the shamayim are the waters up above where yahuwah is enthroned and his feet are on the firmament of the earth and in and the earth is his footstool correct and see, as we see in this picture, the ancient Hebrew concept of the universe, and we're going to get to it, people. We're going to get to it. We must understand that there's a lot of garbage going on in people's minds. That now, this picture right here, this is total deception. They they taught us this in school. This little silly, cute cutout, and and no one's gone deeper with core samples of every layer up to eight miles, and that was the Russians. So this is a fake it that they make a picture. And, 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 but we're going to go and we want to continue to call out Shema Israel. You know why we're going to call out Shema Israel? Because Israel has allowed the Sodomites and the Gomorrahites to walk the streets of Jerusalem. Right. And I'm so deeply wounded because when I first went to Israel in tourism, it was nothing. Just being a tourist and part of a tourist group, a tourist captain, it was okay, you know. But when I went alone and I said, I'm going to walk the very footsteps of my Hebrew Messiah, Yeshua, there was reverence. There was awe. There was Kodeshness about it. These people are making a mockery. And by bringing the Sodomites and Gomorrahites to walk the streets of Jerusalem a few days ago, what they are doing is opening the portholes and gateways of judgment to come on Israel. Because they're not calling on the true name. They're not calling on his name at all. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. This is an abomination. And even the rabbis that said it was an abomination. Right. Nobody said to kill them. They just said it was an abomination. It should not be done. And they had over 2,000 police to protect the gays to do this march. Right. And they didn't need, uh, you know, I don't even want to get into details of it, but we got to say, Shema Israel, repent for the pagan idols in plain sight and allowing the Sodomites and the Gomorrahites to come into the camp. In the Shem of Yeshua, Father, have compassion and pity on our people. Forgive our people for what they have done. Forgive our people what they have done. Forgive them. They do not know what they have done because the government is superseding and overriding the religious people with integrity and they're pushing the military and the government and the police to protect those particular evil, wicked people. In the Shem of Yusha, we pray, Father, right now to forgive the people of the land. And, and we know you're going to send messengers to buffet them in order to repent. And they brought a, a couple months ago more pagan idols out of the ground and put it in the museum. And they bragging these spirits instead of destroying them and crushing them to powder. Father, have compassion on them. And please, Father, wake people up in Israel. Shema Yasharel, Israel, wake up in the Shem of Yeshua. The next thing we're going to show you is this. We had the gay parade on uh, this month on the 21st but something happened before that on 716 something happened something serious happened there was an invitation from the pope francis here's him right here holding a, sh a t-shirt with american flag get together all right and this is the fill the mall pulse reset they all had different terminologies for it but this is the pope he, he took, he, he generated this. Uh, every Christian group got together. That's why you think I am a little radical. What I'm going to show you right now is seriously radical. All right. This youngster met with the Pope last month on the 13th and gave him a book, uh, which is about reset, pulse reset, or or it's, it's Nick Hall with the Pope. His name is Nick Hall. He's a new kid in the block. They're using his energy and charismatic ability, but he is an economical person. 
20 years ago, nobody would give him a dime a day for anybody in economical. All right? And, he, and here's another flyer. I don't want to give too much esteem on this, but this is what they had on the National Mall. But here's the thing that you got to realize. They did this event, and I've been to these events for the J-Man rally, and they had our congregation as a messianic group come with the shofar. I blew the shofar, but I didn't realize I was blowing the shofar right in front of the sundial of Nimrod, the, wow. the right. phallus of Nimrod right. facing, right? And look at what goes up goes down the reflection of the waters this is strictly mason this is straight up mason stuff that mm. took place filled them all okay and then look at this picture of the of the phallus again why they were out there look at this i mean they magnifying that pyramid and the all seen right. eye and the dollar bill with your god people that you're still calling on this is their mighty one people this is their mighty one. They actually, made, they actually made a, a vision of the all C and I right there. Yeah. 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 So this is their, this is weird, man. He's got the up and down because of the reflection of the water. It's got this cloud burst of the smoke underneath. Some guy wanted to take a picture of the cloud burst, but there's all kinds of creepy things going on in the cloud of smoke of that fire of the fireworks and and and, and this is when he this is where it was done so being the pope and all these christians got together so on that picture would you say that what they're trying to say is as above so below right. okay okay so then they are exalting themselves as above as they're the ones who are above right uh, and so it is going to be below also right okay now get this people Josh McDonald's, Francis Kane, a Rabbi Zacharias, you believe it? Billy Graham's organization, Luis Palau Association, Campus Crusade for Cristo, American Bible Tract Society, American Bible Society, which we know was bought like eight years ago by the Vatican Church. A lot of the things that are you think are Christian people are not Christian no more. The Vatican has come in with third party money people and in the disguise of evangelists, and they have bought these Christian companies. They have bought also Strong's Greek Concordance Dictionary, Zandervan. That's why we only use the Zandervan to strong Greek concordance before the year 2000 because they bought it out. Okay, right. the Catholic Church. There's a lot of things that they've done slowly infiltrated and dangled money on the sons and daughters of these great men that started these dictionaries and books. And the sons and daughters are not serving, so they just sold out to the highest bidder. You know All what right. I mean? Just like uh, 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 Smith Wigglesmere's building in, in, in Philadelphia is occupied by Muslims today. Smith Wigglesmere's building, they had the great revival of 1800, and the Muslims purposely bought that building to make it a place of study of Islam as a blasphemy and mockery. These people, look at that. If you but got men, men sold it, brother, for, for money. You know, like Mama, the war, the the war dollar says, bill. yeah, the, 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 the money is the root of all evil. Right. You know. And so now, Listen carefully. Go back and look if your favorite fans are there. Kirk Franklin, Andy M uh, Mino, Matt Mahar, Lorraine, Lauren Daigle. I don't know most of these people. Some of them I do. Casting Crowns was there. Yeah. LeCur, Kirky, Kirk, Kerry Job was there. Jeremiah Camp was there. The Catholic... Yeah. Evangelistic economical singer Matt McCurr. Okay, he's a Catholic. So evangelist this, this, singer. this is they're exposing themselves uh, right in uh, your people, face. Yeah. It, it, so so like these people like casting crowns and 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 Jer and uh, what's his name Jeremy Camp. Right. Okay, these are famous Christian artists and and that have uh, that that uh, have uh, this music that it, that that back in the early two thousands was great. You know, as far as if you're a Christian, they have but, they but, have yeah. the but they're the really book. exposing themselves by aligning themselves with the false with the, yeah, with the false prophet, national Hispanic president of all Hispanic Christianity, Samuel Rodriguez, Southern Baptist Convention, Ronnie Floyd, Hillsong United. They were the main ones. The Pope started with a video. He didn't go there purposely. He started with a video and a prayer. Lou Engel. And I know these some of these guys. I know these guys. I've ate with them. I fellowship. I prayed. I've rocked and interceded with these guys before. 
okay? And they were starting to use Yahushua. They were starting to use, they didn't use uh, a Yahuwah, they used Yahweh, right? But they were using the words back then right. when we were beginning. Now they have completely inverted back to the G-O-D, L-O-R-D, just, just like uh, Lou, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Michael Root and others, they inverted back to the G-O-D and L-O-D 100%. That, that's because they learned the name, I just want to say this real quick, they learned the name and, and then, but they they don't keep going and they don't keep the feast because a little bit of everybody knows who does pesa that a little bit of leaven leaven's the whole, the whole leaven's the whole lump and 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 that's that's why they reverted back to that right so now i just wanted i, I just named a few you can research it yourself you're going to find many people that you got if you're if you're messianic and you got some of their cds uh there was a uh, there was a, a a rapper that kirk franklin brought to rap with them that this rapper just five years ago announced on stage in front of thousands of people that he sold his soul to satan and without integrity and moral ethics of training and correction with a father image to cons co-sign and, sh and tell people yeah he's really repented i cast demons out of him he's not a part of it no more no they let him right back in because somebody else famous brings him in and kirk franklin i know kirk franklin personally too. and they pay them brother they and pay kirk them the same they give thing. him money he was a part of all kinds of perversion stuff he got crazy with his music he started doing all, all right. kinds of stuff and he was an ex uh, I can't remember Crip or Blood because I was a part of, of a group one time that ex gang members that are part of ministry and we were we sat in the platform several times together and we actually he used to always be very toe with me but then I found out he was dipping he was dipping back in for the money and going in and playing this right. music that's not dope okay compromising and the Ruach Kadosh was not there no more because they're operating under the Spiritu Santos they're operating on the Holy Spiritu. The Holy Spiritu, the deity that's celebrated on September every year in, in, in throughout India, the spirit of holy, holy, and she gives the spirit of happy to people. And, and then they have the Spiritu, which is not, you, you, I have a teaching completely, it is not the breath of the Ruach of Yahuwah. You and I have a spirit. Dogs and I have a spirit. Uh, 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 Fallen angels have a spirit. Uh, demons have a spirit. But but the Father has Ruach to give us. He has his Ruach. You never use that for him. It's nowhere in the Hebrew or even the original Greek for him to be used as spiritu. That is a Latin Catholic word. It has nothing to do with Greek or Hebrew. Okay, It's pneuma in Hebrew. And that's equivalent to the breath of the wind, of the breath of the Father. The Kodesh breath. It okay. could be bad or good for the Greek. But in Hebrew, it's supposed to be to. Okay, so I wanted to show you this. This is this is a time Christians. I saw in line Baptists are splitting from the Baptists. Krampus Crusade people are splitting from anybody that co sign with the Pope. There's Christians splitting. Messianics are saying, "Whoa, what happened?" Right. Followers of Yah, people that call on, on Yahweh and Jehovah and, and Jehovah, they're they're saying, "Whoa, it's in right in front of our face." The right. false prophet, the New World religion under the false prophet, religious leader, the Pope. Right. That's not my father. That's not my father. My father, Abraham, Ishak, Yaakov. That's right. Are you hearing me, people? Hallelujah. This is this is a this is a fake it till they make it unity, and they were feeling spirits where they were worshiping and singing. This is a different spirit, brother, than when yes. we were talking about when we were young in in Christianity. This is a different right. spirit than even it's a different type of Azusa music. Revival. Uh, every, everything has changed, right? Uh, you know. But I just want to say this: is that is that you know, if you look at the lives of all of the patriarchs, of all of them. And, and I'm, I'm, going, I'm going all the way back to Noah. I'm talking about, about Noah, Shem, um, the, the, even the ones that are not mentioned that many times, Methuselah, and all, all these guys, and, and down to Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. And, and so, you know, they were, all these guys were taught in the way that they should go, in the way. And, and what is the way? Uh, Yahushua said, Yahushua said for the Talmudim to follow them, to follow him, and that he would show them the way. What is the way? The way is, 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 the, is all the feast of Yahuwah. The way is the Torah. Okay? 
the ways of Torah, there wasn't no, there wasn't no Brit Hadishah back then. So I'm, I'm speaking to all of you who are listening to the sound of our voice, and, and that's just coming in. The way that, Yahu, that Yahushua taught them was all of the, um, all of the Torot and, and all of the feasts, and, and, and that they should walk in this way. So that's why when, when we come into the belief, then we drop off New Year's, we drop off the holidays of, of, of Thanksgiving, we drop off the holidays of, uh, of uh, Christmas, we drop, see, because we're, we're learning to follow the, the, the Mashiach and, and follow him in the way. Now, if you don't believe me, I bet you that all of these people who were doing what you were saying, brother, that began calling on the name of Yah, whether it was the name of Yahweh or Yahovah, which is a bad name, but still they had begun to call on the name. Out that way. They had begun to call on the name of Yah. I was calling on the name of Yahweh. I didn't know it was Yahuwah at first, right. but then when I found out, then then of course, then you see because we have to have humility. Then I said, okay, I'm going to change from that. I'm going to call. I'm going to call him the truth by his true name, Yahuwah. Okay, so anyways, because these men and these people do not continue in the way, then they fall to by the wayside. And that's why they're able to go back into the Christian movement and call on, on, on L-O-R-D, which we know equals Baal. We, right. know, we, we know that, brother showed you a picture a while, a while ago about God, which is gut. Okay, mm -hmm. we we keep we keep pounding this stuff and showing it to everybody, and and some of you guys are probably are tired of hearing us talk about it, but but we hope that this falls on the ears of somebody who hasn't heard this before. And these people are under spell. Right. I was looking at video footage. They're calling on God. They're calling on God. They were mentioning God more than the J the J man or than Jesus. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's a different. It's a different uh, spirit. They've gone from a. Uh, they come from the the charismatic Christian spirit to more of a uh, of a um, uh, God compromise, soft, right. wishy, be gentle to people. Right. I seen where 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 there's where there's Christians who uh, are talking to atheists. And I experienced this at work where, oh, no, no, don't tell him nothing. It's okay for him to be an atheist. Really? A Christian can say it's okay for somebody to be an atheist? <laughs> well, they have their, they have their beliefs yeah, too. Yeah, they're being taught that in, yeah. by their pastors. Right. This is a different, this is a way, uh, different spirit now. It wasn't like I grew up. Change or hit the flame, learn or burn, dunk right. them three times, three bubbles coming out, and then you know they're repentant. <laughs> that was the old Baptist way. You know what I mean? You gotta, don't get up on that altar. It's only been 30 minutes yet. You got to be on there a couple of hours repenting of your sins. You you know what I mean? Right, old right. school uh, revivalist days. You know, they're over. They're over. It's this microwave 10 little seconds and warmed up and now you're a pat you on the back and you're a Cristiano. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So the next picture I'm showing you now and you so Shema Israel, Shema the United States. They even set up uh, uh, Trump in his camp, Republican campaign, the Republican GOP brought uh, Muslims, brought Hindi, brought uh, Sheikhs to do prayers, and it was not Trump's desire to do that. Right. You know what I mean? They right. set him up putting that stuff in there, and it turned people off. You know what I mean? But right. it was the Republicans doing that. They're the ones that control that Republican GOP place. You know what I mean? And yes. so they're trying to be live large and control in, uh, because they're in control, and they're trying to infiltrate still, no matter what. If a guy wants to be neutral, non-religious, they're going to try to push it and make him look different. You know what right. I mean? And so this is Nicholas... Copper, Copernicus, the founder, the man of the Catholic priest that founded this Helio system. He's right. the one that founded this Helio system and brought us this garbage to the uh, to us. Created this globe way before anybody. You know, this right. was in fifteen hundred, right. and no one even made a balloon to seventeen hundred. And the highest balloon was until nineteen thirty one from from uh, Augustus Augusta Picard. Augusta Picard flew uh, flew up basically up into in the redosphere, the outer space in, in nineteen thirty one. Highest person to break a record, and he saw a flat dish Earth. That's what he saw in 1931. So this is the beginning of the photographs I want to show you. 
Okay? The reason why we're going to show you this right now before we get into the Word is this. I want you to destroy the brainwashed thinking of this people, NASA. You cannot agree with them. They show you the flat earth in front of your face and the League of Nations, now called United Nation map, and you can see the 33rd degrees of it. And of course, in Masons, they, they reach the higher level of that. And you can see NASA, and they have the Nike symbol right there, and all kinds of little symbols there of occultism in NASA. This is a, a cult. This is a religion. Hillary Clinton has a religion. In her right. book, Rules of Radicals, it's Lucifer. I got pictures of her, of, of people in the cult laying hands on her. Okay? This, this, this presidential thing going on is light and darkness. Destruction or, or, or people that want high. Okay? So I'm going to read something to you and show you something. Now, this picture is a balloon uh, similar to the balloon. This was a celebration. As you can see, how high they are and the earth is uh, flat. <laughs> There's no kubata there in this picture. Right. And uh, this is a similar picture of Augusta Picard in 1931. You can look it up. The history of this man and all the black and white footage and the popular man, popular mechanics magazine gave his testimony how he saw the earth as flat with the dish ends on the end. Right. Okay. So now. I want to read this to you. And you're going to look it in the screen and read it, all right? Because I want it, what I want to do, just like I tear down the G.O.D., I show proof. NASA, you cannot rely on NASA. No more. World's Last Chance, Michael Rood, all of them. Anybody using timeanddate.com and doing the scale from 0 to 5 to the right, 0 to 5 on the left, and pick a date to start equal yom and equal night, it is wrong. People it's based on that. sun worship. First of all, it's, it's based on sun worship. Yeah. And that's what they did in this Christian event on 716. They worship in front of the phallus of Nimrod. They call Washington Monument, which right. is a sun worshiping dial. Yeah. That's what it is. Right. Okay. It's, it's Mithras. Okay. Yeah. And they're worshiping in front of it. They're singing to it. They're actually facing it and singing towards it. And people don't realize in the Hebrew mindset, we don't even supposed to have an image, a picture, a statue, a tree, right? Anything in front of us when we right. pray, a blank wall, right? You know what I mean? No, no image of a man. Now some rabbinical have images of rabbis, and that's not right. Okay, and the, the Christian community is the same way among Catholics and others. They put a, they put the picture of this Santo, of the a Santos, saint. yeah, or this 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 Greek Italian looking white guy. They call right. it Jesus, and then they got the saints, and then they got uh, whatever. Their and they got they got the the Virgin Mary. Yeah, and, and they pray and towards Saint Francis him. and Saint whoever for each day of the week. Right. Uh, for each day of the year and for each month of the year. <laughs> so. I want we want to expose and tear down the strongholds of NASA as your gospel, uh, a final signature of truth. Right. It is a religion. It's a religion of witchcraft and occultism to the to the fullest. It says here that the man on the starting from the left is Allison Crawley. The next one is Jack W. Parson, Jet Propulsion Lab, Jack Parsons Lab, Ron L. Hubbard, the one in the middle, Werner Werner von Braun, one part of the paperclip that came here. Right. The Nazis. And, and all these guys, you can go and do your own research and look up their character and what they what they believed in. And they didn't die, Tobe, brother. Right. No. No. They didn't die, Tobe, at all. Right. You know what I mean? Walt Disney. I, none of my children have been to Walt Disney through my money or my escort. If they went, they went on their own. I would never take my children to Walt Disney because I knew all along there was corruption going on. Room 33 and other little pedophile rooms going on in that place right. late at night. I, 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 I've been there. I took my kids there, but I had no idea. You had no idea about I had then. no idea. I was a Christian and knew better. Right. It's yeah, a no, I man. It's know. Magic Kingdom. It's witchcraft. It's Latin letters right. with spells. When I was in the movie and music industry as a courier, I've gone to Disney 
headquarters in not just the theme park in Anaheim, but also the, 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 the headquarters in Glendale. And they, when you walk in the door, it's so doggy dog. I don't want to talk about all the doggy dog security. But when you walk in the door, you see crystals, you see pentagrams, you see the, the magical witchcraft emblems, the, the, the rear rings, the, 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 the medallions on these producers and directors around their neck, on these women. And they're all into the occult. Right. Walt right. Disney was an Irish occultist. All his stories were not even Catholic. He was not a Catholic people. Right. Right. I just want to say something real quick, brother. I want to say this because I want you to know that before that I learned this stuff, brother has a lot of information, and 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 my wife was telling me too, uh, also. But but um, I was looking at NASA also when when I begin to to do the when I begin to do the um, calendar. calendar I just want you people to know that we're not we're not saying. You, and nothing bad about anybody who's doing we that because that. You, yeah we've done that we we really searching it out and those who are really searching it out go to nasa and look for or, you know look to see what they what their uh time and date and all of that says but this stuff is wrong we want you to know what we're trying to do is to get you to know that that's deception Okay. Total deception. It's total deception. We're not saying that you're dumb. We're not saying that, that you're you sin, sin and all yeah, this stuff. No, no. Oh, we're, we're trying because I think people sometimes take us wrong, and and also also you know when we when we call in on the name and all this, we call them those names too, you At know. But we time. didn't know it. But when we heard, then we change. So that's what we're doing right. here. Thank that's you, what brothers, brothers for doing clarifying here. that. I get ahead of myself, but you know. Uh, when I did the research when I was a Christian and I used to go to Anaheim Hills and Glendale and blow the shofar as a messianic intercessor, interceder, map reading, tear down the strongholds, uh, Hanavi. And I used to have groups of people and we used to do this. because And Walt Disney Group is one of them. The theme park brags, brags having 65 to 70% gays working in the theme park. Wow. Underneath Mickey Mouse, underneath all those characters, brother, wow. in costumes. So, and I studied and researched how they died, how they lived, and he didn't even live long enough to see his Florida theme park in 65, 1965 open up. He died of cancer. But all these men died horribly or in broke. They were used by the system. What does a avowed occultist, the founder of Jet Propulsion Lab, a NASA scientist, science fiction writer, L. Ron, Ron Hubbard, okay, founder of the Church of Scientology, which was a student under Alison Crawley of witchcraft, and an ex-Nazi turned American foremost rocket scientist and Walt Disney founder of the Magic Kingdom have in common. Oh, you might be surprised of the extent of their collaborative efforts in Babylon. Sick. Surprise. Are you indeed? This is a strange, stranger than a science fiction story. Then again, magic, alien, space, travel, and science have a lot more in common than you might think. Then again, do Americans do all the much thinking? Do they really research? Are you surprised because you haven't researched? I ask you to do your own research. I'm leaving right. that picture up there for a while because I want you to do your own research who these people are. This is what's infiltrated into the homes of children. You tell the child, here, here, watch a Walt Disney movie and stick him in front of it while you go talk with your friends. I was, I'm ashamed I did that. I repented for my sins to doing that to my children. I want to be with the pastors and the ministers and the eating and we'd stick a movie in the back and let all the children go watch these Disney Kingdom wicked magical kingdom fantasy movies you know right. what i mean to keep them occupied and we didn't realize they were using real latin spell words in the midst of the movies right and the wishes are putting spells it's no more hocus pocus i put a spell on you well let me surprise you hocus pocus is a startup of a spell right Flintstones, dabba dabba do, yep. is a Latin word for a spell. A lot of these words are real spells that they put on, they put in the movie as a cute fiction, but it is what it is. Now, let's get to let's get to a little more history of these men. I'm only focusing on three right now. All right, we have Alison Crawley, which is the chief warlock, and the main one that rewrote a lot of the witchcraft books and united a lot of the Masons and Illuminati to witchcraft. And then you got 
Jack Parson, the guy in the middle, the Romeo boy, the Romeo boy, the playboy of Hollywood, the valley. He had his lab in the valley. You know, he died. He blew himself up making a new uh, propulsion uh, design. Okay, and then L L L L uh, Ron L. Hubbard. He ran Ron L. Hubbard. They were all road dogs. They did sex ritual acts together with different wow. women and other things they don't like to mention. Okay, here's a scientist in the middle. This is a scientist. Let me show you his picture. Another, you know who he's sitting with? He's messing with. The, this is uh, Jack Parson, but L. Rubber took off with thirty thousand dollars of Jack Parson's money while he was building rockets in his lab, mm. and ran off with his wife to Florida. <laughs> right. You know, and right. she went back to it. But they're all they're all playing sex games. They're trading. They're doing rituals. You don't believe me? Look at this picture. This is Jack Parson, and they're doing sex rituals with witchcraft right. on the checkerboard floor. This is Alison Crawley, the famous picture that was also in the Beatle album. Okay? The Beatles believed in him, spoke with him, and had songs of him. Here's the all seen eye in the pyramid, and, the, uh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, they got the symbol of the unts and the all sign of Amon, a man. They call him a man. Forgive me for saying it. That's a pagan deity mm. of Egypt. On the top of his pyramid hat, <laughs> you would think back in the hippie days. Look at this stupid guy with the cow. We didn't realize that during right. the Beatle days and the Stoner days and, and, and Iron Butterfly days, we didn't realize when they had these guys' picture on there that they were really part yeah, of the that cult. Yeah, that was their belief system. That was their rabbi. That was their teacher. Right. That was their pastor. Okay, here's Jack Bar Barson again. Now, Jet Propulsion Lab was named later. After he died, but it was actually Jack Parsons' lab. Okay. JPL was Jack Parsons' lab in the valley, in the valley area of Los Angeles County. Okay. And then here's uh, L. Ron Hubbard, or Ron L. Hubbard, L. Ron Hubbard, the, the founder of Scientology, Dianetics, okay, which he got together with. Allison Crawley, because he's a student under Allison Crawley, before Allison Crawley died, he died of alcohol, he died in poverty, his house burned down, all kinds of stuff. The occult went and rebought his house, the people of witchcraft, and rebuilt it as a museum, because they wanted to honor this, this war, poor warlock that died in his corruptness and sin of iniquity. Now, uh, Jack Parson L. On Hubbard and all these guys I mentioned, even the Nazi and even Walt Disney, worked or did ceremonies that were a part of the pedophile sex acts, rituals, sex witchcraft rituals with this man you're seeing on the screen. Okay? Now, L. On Ron Hubbard got together with Allison, Allison Crowley, Cro Crowley, I think it's Crow, C R O W, Crowley. And what a name, man. <laughs> you know, right. he picked his name. That was his name he picked. It wasn't his real name, okay? And uh, there is no few, there is no grave site of him. He made ashes, and the ashes were spread over different places. So there is no tombstone for him. People like to go find a tombstone of him and do rituals that his spirit will possess them, okay? Some of the cultists. Now, Elon Herbert wanted to make a religion to accept Lucifer as a light bearer. A brand plucked out of the fire, still with hot imbrums of imbrum of a, a brand of light, okay? Right. That you could still get information from. So Dynetics was born. Dynetics was born and become a top uh, recruiting station of many movie stars and actresses here in Hollywood of Suntology. I've been by that building. I've delivered packages in and out of that building before, and their occultism. And they have another movie where they made movies. And John Travolta and others have made movies with them because they're a part of that crew. All right, they're part of that crew of Scientologists, which is uh, is like a power of mind and uh, over matter, and they can be a mighty one. They can actually be a G.O.D., work their way to G.O.D., like the ways of Luciferix believe they right. can work their way to a mighty one like G.O.D. Now, this building I'm showing you, uh, Hubbard got kicked out of the system. His books lingered on. He had all kinds of tax problems. He died away. His other followers carried it on to, as a money making machine. Okay, right. they built a built. They built a studio and they took over the Mooney's studio and Mooney uh, camp over there in Hemet, California. And I had first hand understanding of that because the Native Americans of of Saboba asked me to go in the.
fountain and blow the shofar and bind those strongholds of the psychologists coming into their property. They invaded the school districts. They invaded the police department. They, they infiltrated every aspect of Hermit and invaded it and went into the government and slowly came in calling themselves Christians. But nobody mm -hmm. would ask, well, what church you go to? They would say, Scientology. Oh, okay. You know, but they call themselves right. Christians, right? So, right. Uh, uh, of science and higher medic is not popular science, right? It's not. It's not. Uh, sci uh, it, it's sci Scientology is completely different than uh, than the other form of Christian Science Monitor. It's another right. different type of belief system, okay? And they built this and all kinds of dead, all kinds of stories. I could go on and on what goes on in Hammond with this occult. And if you, at one time we were, we were all, uh, our buddies were young and we're all partying. And he said, and they were t challenging each other, just park your car right here and watch the Scientologist police come out. And we parked our car and within five minutes they got cameras in the trees, cameras everywhere and videos and sound frequencies to get you to not to spy on them. They come with a, a Jeep with Uzis to escort us out of there. Wow. As your car broke down, you need to jump. But they got one guy with an Uzi watching us. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then of this religion. And they take people there to these homes and they brainwash them and they put them on special diets. And it is a white supremacy religion. All witchcraft is white supremacy. They're big on whites only mm. for some reason. Okay? Yeah. Uh, they let blacks in and they let others in. But they're big on the everybody on top to be right. white people, preferably German, Swedish, Irish, Scottish, right. and all that. Okay, so that's enough of that. They made movies in that studio. It looks like a big castle when you go on the Morongo. So Highway. then we know that that NASA is not a uh, not Kodesh. Not a good source. It's not a good source at not all. Not a good source. And, and it's based on it's based on the globe ball Earth, which says that the Earth is. Uh, rotating around the sun at 6,000 or 65,000 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. mi miles an hour, okay? And um, your hair is not even blowing in the wind. Right. <laughs> now, this is an old black and white article I found, right, about yeah. Delamite, stuff he invented. I found out that Jack Parson, brother, literally would get information from Grace spirits would come upon him and possess him and he figured out the way to do the propulsion mixture mm -hmm. of course he was working with that nazi too that german guy you know right, I mean? right. The paper clip and he learned the right chemistry of formula of fuel from spirit world from the spirit world wow okay that's how he got it so nothing's new under the sun those the same guys that help Nimrod build his jet launching mountain, right. <laughs> whatever it was. And in India, they saw people with aircraft flying around and there was a nuclear explosion in India going back before, way before time we know of. You know what I mean? There was a nuclear explosion. Right. There was a nuclear war over there in India. So this is some of the stuff. they Back then in the 30s and 40s and 50s, they called his occult a religion. It was a religion. Here's a black and white co uh, cartoon comedy book. I cut off the comic book thing because I didn't want you to see it. Just in case if there's any uh, rights and suits against me. But this is a comic book showing rockets behind him with, with the five-pointed pentagram bl bloody carved into his chest with a sexy girl. Because the guy was a player. And he would lure these girls with Alison Crawley and others to do sex magic. Okay. Here's another 19, uh, 19... So this is your source of, of, getting, of uh, getting your, your Kodesh time right. This was our source, too, right. of a guy like this. You go people online, like people. I'm not going to spend more too much time on it, but you go online, the top 10 uh, executive officials of NASA and Jet Propulsion Lab, but mostly of NASA, are boasting witchcraft luciferance. They're part of the loose the lucifer what they call lucas trust and they're a part of the luciferian group they brag in nasa the top executive people that they're a part of this group and that's your source come on give me a break people right. here's a picture of him uh him where they looks like almost like a pipe bomb him uh, they, they probably just took some fake big fake, fake it they make it pictures yeah. to advertise for him but as i go back to this picture you can see these are comic books people called second sex rockets 
strange angel showing him making concussions and, and, and uh, you know how strange he looked and dark he looked you know what I mean this man this is the source people now as you look at all the shuttles we know their names you go online look at their names here's Apollos 13 give me a break what it has Luna Sanitia in Latin EX Luna Sanitia in Latin and then it has showing the image of Apollos with the with the eight rays of light coming out of the Helios okay with a chariot this is paganism this is not science people no. this is occultism this is the modern Roman v version they had a Roman Aleph on there showing their orbits of a, of a certain Apollo here's another one Greek man and mighty one okay the whole dealing of this thing when you say how could they have patches of Greek mythology of pagan deities on their clothes they're taking it into space these people really believe in what they believe in they do not play games they don't want you to know the truth they don't want you to know how when during winter it takes almost 80 miles 60 to 80 miles to with an icebreaker to break to get to the ice wall in the arctic ring they don't want you to know these things and see these pictures of the arctic ring of them taking a boat during the summertime butting it up against and doing their little scientist things and as you can see in the background it is straight flat but it's going straight up because it's every foot step you make once you get on that top of that arctic wall ring is one foot high up every foot up to 2500 feet up high all around altitude so and of course the coincidence is this a coincidence that you got chucky little chucky isus here with a cruz right you know what i mean yeah the eight pointed the eight pointed cruz with his little fiery fork on his head giving the symbol of the masons of the illuminati with a ball is this any coincidence you have nimrod simmeries and all the all the same thing with these balls hanging around them the same thing for the the fallen one the fallen one of of uh, right that that gave the fire of the greek mythology and you see the oblix this guy holding up a phallus and the other guy's holding up a ball with a snake on it all right is there any coincidence this catholic picture has a band around they call the globe and the world which is re not really the right image this is nimrod to the best people right. and, we, and people need we need to repent from it we need to repent from it wholeheartedly and stop using nasa as a resource remember the first verse that we shared with you guys if my people who are called by my name would hum would humble themselves and and turn from their evil ways so we got to turn from that from believing in the you know the whole world has gone astray believing in that we are revolving around the sun instead of yahuwah being the center and the earth the uh, Yahuwah being the center of our universe instead right. of the heliocentric right we, we need to to get away from that really in order to be able to even have a chance to discern the times that we are in and research the astrolabe there's other people groups our friends in florida and others are using the technology to get to figure out the accuracy within hours of the the equal yom and equal night and we want to start using different equipment instead of sun worship equipment <laughs> right you know what i mean and uh and it, so who do you're worshiping you're worshiping that dollar bill the one the god they trust which is the right. same one that it was on the nazi belt buckles the same one when they were throwing our people in the fiery furnace as well as gypsies and poles and anybody else that was wasn't the right color complexion and look what are you going to believe people it's time to come out of this fake it till they make it lies that they are doing this is showing you the geocentric system versus the helio system it's actually an old picture i borrowed it from a certain group it's pretty good uh versus the sun centric system universe uh showing you the distinct difference in their layout okay
Right. We have a lot of scriptures that show what the earth looks, is, like. looks like, you know, with, without, uh, you know, once you get the, um, once we remove, once we re remove, uh, let, let me talk to them, brother. Please. Let, let, me, let me talk to them on the, right. okay. Okay. I just want to say this. Once we remove, we got to take away the ball around earth. We got to take that out of the picture in order to look at the scripture and bring in what Yahuwah is saying that the earth is. Okay, because we've been indoctrinated for so many years and believing in our mind that the earth is a ball, it's round. And so our, our, our concept of what the earth is, is way different than what the Torah says. Look so at we, yeah, that's we, why we really need to go over all of those scriptures. Let me just give Hebrew you and English. Right. Let me just give you a real quick brother had written this down. I'll just give you one real quick. And, and let me read it to you in Hebrew. In Hebrew, this is Genesis chapter 1, verse 6. And it says like this. This is how it says in Hebrew. It says, Bayomer Elohim, Yehi Rakia Betochamayim, Vehi Magdi Bimayim Lamayim. Okay, which means, which means, it says, And Elohim said, Let there be a Rakia, an expanse. In the midst of the waters to separate the waters from the uh, from the waters, waters la mayim la mayim to se so now in your mind, in your mind, if you go to the ocean and you look out at the water, and it's a clear day and you look up at the sky, you're gonna see the waters above with no clouds. You're gonna see blue above, and blue blue on on the water. And when they look, meet together, uh, too, at a distance of the line of sight, they well, actually come in closing the line right. of sight together. So you're going to see la mayim ha mayim. You're going to see the waters separated from the waters. The the, the the firmament, the rakia, shows the handiwork of Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Okay? And, and so your mind has to think way different. And that's why we're going through all of this. So it's really going to take a... So we can get the... the right information out there because if we start right now it'll take us at least another hour right. to go through this stuff so what we're going to do is uh we're going to go ahead and stop here and we, but we, we we really look at if christians a million christians with the pope using distorted scriptures hello right the guy that started the, the well a part of the team of the catholic church that started the ball globe world anyways okay could deceive and fool all these top musicians, singers, worshipers. Right. And, and, and they didn't even know what they were worshiping, brother. I believe that most of the people, they, uh, they knew after a while once they were in deep. But yeah. at the beginning, they don't know. They, they have no idea. Man, I don't just think to they stand do. there and face that phallus? Right. I mean, you got to be dumbed down, brother, like what right. bumped your head and not know history. No, I'm saying when they, when they first started... In, in Christianity, oh, okay. and you know, when they first came out with their songs, and well, you know, back in the early 2000s, and like Casting Crowns and, and Jeremy Camp, and, and all these guys were sincere yeah. in the beginning. Right. Hill song was the people left Hill yeah, song we know of, they ne le left them because of yeah. the transition to say that uh, they, they, they admit that Allah and Hindus and others just worship another form of their God. They're right to the point, God, right, right. but not. The Elohim of Israel, right? Not the one Yahuwah, right? Of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, right? Not not the one of Second Chronicles, verse uh, seven, chapter seven, uh, verse fourteen. Yeah, chapter seven, verse fourteen. That's not there. That's not the same one. It's a different mighty okay, one. That's a different mighty one. The one in in Second Chronicles, chapter seven, uh, seven, verse fourteen, is the mighty one of Israel, and his name is not Gut or God. His name is not Dios. His, he, he has a name, a real name, okay? Not a title and not a, not a fake, how brother says, fake it till you make it name. <laughs> <laughs> right.